Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I am bringing you 17 quarantine recipes that you can make with pantry ingredients from your kitchen. So a couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to help me come up with different pantry recipes that I could use for this video and blog post. I wanted your favorite pantry recipes using ingredients that you typically keep in your house and you guys definitely delivered. I have 17 recipes both from my blog, my friends, other bloggers, other YouTubers. I've condensed them into one video and one blog post. If you want all of the recipes in one area, just check out my blog post. It's in the description. You'll find a huge list of everything down there and I've also included all the links in this description as well. Now some of these recipes have pictures that will show up on the screen. One of them I even have a video to show you. Others don't really have a blog post link because some of these are from my friends and it's their own tried and true recipes but I will share everything right here in this video. So are you ready? The first recipe is from Katie in Umbria. It is a traditional Italian soup and oh my gosh it looks really Really, really good. The ingredients, you can find all of these in your pantry already. It is super good. Uh, spring is here, so the weather is a little bit cooler, but this soup would be good anytime. Recipe number two is Navajo tacos from A Heart Full of Joy. These, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Especially the fry bread. I've never made fry bread before, but she makes it look so easy. I'm totally gonna try this really soon, especially with the other recipe that she included on there. Definitely give it a try. Next up, my friend Emily sent me a recipe for lasagna soup. I've never made lasagna soup before, but oh my gosh, this recipe right here, it looks awesome. I've never seen that kind of noodle before, but next time I'm at the store, I'm gonna go give it a shot and we'll see how it goes. Next up is rosemary potato soup from Three Big Bites. This recipe is another soup, um, but it's still really good for the spring weather and even like in the fall weather months. This recipe uses a bunch of ingredients from your pantry that you probably already have at home, so definitely save this recipe for later. Next up is coffee cake. And I honestly, I've never made coffee cake before, but this recipe makes it look so easy. It'll be perfect for breakfast, for a coffee break snack, or for like an after dinner snack. It looks awesome. Next up, my friend Emily also gave me a recipe for orange pound cake. And I don't usually keep oranges in the house, but that would be the only ingredient that I don't have at home. I have everything else in my pantry, only requires a few ingredients, and I think I'm gonna make it next time I go to the store. Next up, I have a special video from my friend Mandy from Mandy's Sweet Life. She just started up a YouTube channel not too long ago, and she wanted to show a recipe for two ingredient creamy chicken. So check this out. Hey guys, so today I just wanted to share a quick recipe with you all. This is a creamy chicken recipe that I make in my crock pot and it's really easy. It's only two ingredients. You can use about four or five chicken breast or you can use chicken thighs or boneless chicken tenders. Whatever you have on hand will work. And then two cans of cream of chicken soup and you just put it in your crock pot cover the chicken up with the soup and cook on low for about five to six hours and when it's done you can shred it and serve it over rice over noodles or mashed potatoes and you can pair it with green beans brussels sprouts broccoli whatever you want to pair it with it's a really simple easy meal and it's really good i hope you all enjoy the recipe don't forget to check out my channel at Mandy Sweet Life. And I've got a link to her YouTube channel down in the description, so make sure you check her out. She posts recipes like I do. She posts her grocery hauls, her meal plans. She also shows a bunch of uh, her homemaker life with cleaning and all sorts of awesome things. Definitely check her out. And I've got another soup recipe for you, green chicken chili from treasuredmom.com. I love chili. I love chicken. I love Mexican food. This would be a really good recipe for like the fall and the winter months. Um, it looks like it could be a little bit spicier if you like to add that extra spice, but definitely check that one out too. Are you starting to notice the theme here? I like Mexican food and this one pot burrito bowl from mymomentsandmemories.com looks awesome. I mean, who doesn't love one pot recipes? This has cheap ingredients, 
all pantry ingredients, definitely give this one a try too. Next up is two thyme and pasta from RecipeDiaries.com. Now I tried this recipe a long time ago. It was one of my favorite pantry staple recipes. You just take a jar of spaghetti sauce and a jar of Alfredo sauce, mix it together, and then add it with your pasta and put cheese on top, and then you bake it in the oven. It sounds like those two sauces might not go together, but seriously, try it. Next up is my recipe for whole wheat waffles. I have all the ingredients for waffles, pancakes, all that stuff in my kitchen at all times because we try to do breakfast at least once a week. And waffles are super easy to make. They take like, what, five minutes to put together and then just a few more minutes to cook them. It'll be a great dinner or breakfast for you. And speaking of breakfast, I also have another recipe for golden oven baked biscuits. I usually have all this stuff in my kitchen as well. I usually keep sticks of butter in the freezer. I will buy a ton at a time when they go on sale. So they're in the freezer. I'll pull out a stick uh, the night before and biscuits are actually really easy to make and they're good to make in a pinch if you can't get to the store to buy your own. Next is baked peanut butter oatmeal from a few shortcuts.com. This recipe, oh my gosh, I love peanut butter. I love oatmeal. I love breakfast. You definitely need to give this one a try too. Next up is my recipe as well for peanut butter energy bites. I actually have a video on how to make that and I'll link that in the description as well. But these are amazing for like pre-workout snacks or basically any time of day snacks. They're also very freezer friendly so you can make up a huge batch at a time and stick them in the freezer for later. And next up is slow cooker Mexican burritos. Now this one is so easy. You just put chicken and salsa, a couple other things in your slow cooker and then you cook that for a few hours and then you assemble the burritos. You can even freeze these for later as well. So these would be like a really good lunch or even a dinner if you don't have anything else on hand. So this would be a good idea if you happen to find chicken on sale. And last but not least, these last two recipes don't have a blog post because these are straight from my friends. These are their tried and true recipes. So the first one is from my friend Melissa. She posted a recipe for chili mac. And chili mac is amazing. It is very cheap. You just use pasta and meat and a few other ingredients. It serves a ton, so you get a lot of food for very little money. And instead of linking to a blog post, I just have the entire recipe in the description for you to check out. And last but not least, my friend Christina gave me a recipe for her vegan vegetable soup. So vegetables are super cheap. Beans, either canned or dried, can be a really good vegetarian protein staple. I highly recommend keeping either canned beans or bags of dried beans in your kitchen at all times, just for recipes like this. This would also go really good with with my cornbread muffins, like she told me. I'm gonna link that in the description for you as well. And while this video may be over now, my job here is still not done. I want you to leave me a comment and let me know your favorite pantry recipe. What would you add to this list? I want to fill this with more and more recipes because let's face it, we might be home for a while and we're gonna be looking for a lot of recipe ideas. So if you have anything at all that you think would help other people, please post a link, post your recipe, post anything in the comments and let us know your favorite recipes. While you're at it, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can be notified on when I post more videos like these or my grocery hauls, more cheap and healthy recipes and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later.